Good boy. The question is, what's a typical day like for the dogs in boarding school? The dogs in boarding school get up about 6 o'clock in the morning and start their day with a pack run on the farm. This is usually about 15 to 20 minutes of running, playing, socializing, pottying, getting yah-yahs out, all of that type of stuff. Once we've done that, they all come back inside, go into their kennels, and come out for their first structured training session of the day. This is about a 15 to 20 minute training session where they often earn their breakfast during training, working on the basic skills of healing, sit, down, come, stay, leave it. Each dog gets worked individually. Whatever they haven't eaten during training, they then get as their breakfast. They come out again around eight o'clock and the dogs have their first real structured walk of the day, which is off property out in public where we work on healing because the walk is a big part of the issues that many of the dogs arrive with. It may be related to pulling, it may be related to relationship issues with their owner, it may be related to reactivity on the leash, but we address that with a walk that takes between 30 and 45 minutes. On the walk, we're also working on any reactivity to people, dogs, bikes, rollerblades, skateboards, cars, traffic, buses, whatever particular issues that that dog has, if he's been lunging or barking at cars or passing runners, that type of thing, that is addressed on that initial walk. After that walk, about 9 a.m., they're ready for some downtime, and that either happens in their kennel or it happens at the Black Paw Retail Store in Louisville. When they come to the retail store, they are tethered behind the counter where there's a lot of activity going on and they're learning how to be calm and relaxed and patient, even though lots of dogs and people are coming by, that type of thing. Many dogs are not used to being in a stimulating environment like that and we really help to just desensitize them. They spend a large part of the day there a couple of days a week where they learn how to relax, that they don't have to bark at every person that comes in, they don't have to bark at every dog that passes by, they don't have to jump on people who pet them. We work the dogs about three to four times a day in focused training sessions as we did in the morning. Each of those sessions is about 15 to 20 minutes. We have found through experience that doing multiple short training sessions throughout the day is more effective than a really long, like one or two hour training session. After a short training session, the dogs are always given time to soak. The technical term for soaking is latent learning, and this is where the brain is actually absorbing and processing the things that he just learned and worked on. We often do this when we're sleeping and we catch ourselves going through the motions of perhaps a new job that you have and the things you were doing in the job. The dogs do the same thing when they're sleeping and processing that information, so the downtime is key for them. They're busy most of the day, they have two to three pack runs every day and three to four focused training sessions, but the downtime in the crate is really key. If the dogs have anxiety, the crate time or kennel time, depending on what the dog's particular issues are, can help with easing that anxiety and helping them to understand that they are okay by themselves. They don't have to follow a person around all the time. Many of the dogs we work with have anxiety issues. They follow their owners all around the house, in the bathroom, you know, they can't be left alone, that type of thing. We want the dogs to learn that they're okay by themselves. They can work on their impulse control. They can work on their duration work. And all of this work slows and calms the mind, very similar to meditation. And you know, with this process, we're able to take them through our program in about two weeks.